So this is a Bailey Center to California. I'm going to take you through the inside of the van to start with, then we'll go around the outside and show you how it will operate. So we've already got mains power connected to this particular caravan, ready to go. Open by the door, you've got your master power switch. You've got your voltmeter at the top, show you how much volts is in the battery. Your interior lights, your gas box light, and your awning light. To fill the water system on this particular caravan, it's got two tanks in this van. So underneath the seat on the far side, you come underneath the seat. And with the valves in the position they're in now, you'll be able to fill the onboard, uh, the sorry, the, the onboard hot water tank here. And with the yellow drain down valve shut just down the back there. If you open that drain, that yellow valve up, that'll allow the water to come out the bottom of the caravan. But like I said, with the valves in the position they're in now, it allows you to just fill that hot water tank just there. You will need to spin both, the, both of these taps through 180 degrees if you want to use the onboard water tank at the front here. So to fill whichever tank you're using, you'll need to go to the control panel by the door with the ACK roll connected. And then if you want to fill the water system or run the water system through the ACK roll and just to the taps, for instance, you'll just press the button upwards and that will allow the water to go straight to the taps. If you want to fill the onboard water tank, you'll put this valve, the switch that put the switch to the bottom position where it says fill. To turn the water pump off, you'll go in the center here. Before you ever turn this switch on, I would advise that you go around and open all the taps up on the hot side of the water. That includes the two in the, sh two in the bathroom, the one on the sink, and the one on the shower as well in the bathroom. What that'll allow you to do is, is get water through the complete system inside the caravan, rather than uh, putting an airlock in the water system itself. Once the water system is completely full, you can turn each of the taps off um, and then you can go to your water heating. So on this particular caravan, just below the seat, you've got your electric water heater. So you can flick it on the electric side. That warms up between 35 and 40 degrees of water temperature on electric. If you want to warm it hotter than that, again, that will only work with mains power. If you want to warm it on gas, you spin the outside dial around to the gas symbol. And when it ignites, you'll get a green light appear in there. In a moment, it will fail to ignite, uh, just for the fact that the gas bottle's turned off or there's no gas bottle on this particular van. And if you wanted to control the temperature of the water, wherever the green light is, which as you can see in the back there is on, and the red light as well, you put the temperature, so for instance, the 30 there, above that green light, and that is the temperature the water will warm up to. We do advise you use the gas as a boost if you're gonna shower inside of the caravan. Over on the opposite side of the van, You've got your controls for your room heating, so if you want to use the electric room heater, you put the electric switch on here. And then you can select 500, 1000 or 2000 watts down the side here. here for instance, here on site we're going to use 500 watts, that's what we're going to power the van on. And then you can control the temperature of the heater on the dial on the outside. If you're on a site with 2000 watts of power available, the heating system is going to be a lot more efficient. If you want to ignite the heater on gas, you spin the dial round to between 10 and 9. Press down the control valve in the middle. And once it is ignited, you'll get a pilot light in that window around a 45 degree angle. You can turn the, ga oh, you can turn the gas supply back off by going back round to the zero. Once it has ignited, you can control the temperature on the outside just here. We don't advise using the gas overnight. On the control on the opposite side, you've got your blown air control, so the little vents that you see around the van down below the seating area at the front there. You can use the blown air by flicking this switch over to the wave symbol just here, and then controlling the fan speed on top. And the little dot in the centre here, the heat will come straight out the front of the heater. If you want to use automatic blown air, so it cuts in and out with the thermostat, you can put it onto the A here, then control the, temp the uh, fan speed again on the dial on top. Going to the fridge next, <clears throat> if you want to use the fridge on mains power when you've got a 240 supply, you spin the dial around to the plug symbol and control the temperature of the fridge on the dial just here. If you want to use the fridge on two, uh, 12 volt, sorry, <clears throat> which you can do when you're traveling, you'll put the dial around to the 12 volt, uh, the battery symbol here, and that will chill the fridge and make the fridge work as a cool box. And again, when you get to site, the beers and wine will be nice and cold. Down the bottom here, you've got your gas option. So you press, you put the valve down to the bottom. You press in the temperature valve, 
and hit the igniter at the same time. When it has ignited on gas, the little red line that you see in the little window just there will come round into the green. And if it stays in the green, then the fridge has ignited on gas. To turn it back off any of the power supplies, you just turn the dial back round to the top and that will turn off the power. The cooker works like your household, your igniter down the front here, as you can see. In the bathroom, on top of the toilet, you've got your blue flush button up on top. And then below, you've got your grey waste flap to allow the waste to go down into the toilet cassette. Going on to the outside of the van now. You've got your battery box. As you can see just here, your battery will go into the box just there. And you've got your mains power lead coming out the side of the van. Under bed storage at the back of the van also. the back of the caravan you've got your wind down legs on both either side of the caravan you've then got your toilet locker the top one here takes three and a half litres of water here water and that is for the flush uh, flush tank and a cap full of the pink fluid you'll put in there then below you've got your toilet cassette itself which takes one litre of water and a cap full of the blue fluid grey waste flaps on the side of the van for your waste water to come out. The wheel nuts will torque before you leave sight and will demonstrate the motor mover also. The fridge vents on the side of the caravan, you will need to remove these covers before use um, to allow the cool air to come in and out of the or the cool air to go to the vents in the back of the uh, fridge. You've then got your gas cover for the gas flue on the side of the caravan for using your heating and hot water. You will need to remove this uh, when you're using for the gas as previously mentioned. Water pump connection, water pump press into the, connect into the side of the van and down into your act roll. Then coming to the front of the van, you've got your wind down legs on either side also. The hookup procedure, we'll go through in person here on site and explain how the ATC works in this particular van. Then in the front locker, you've got your gas regulator at the front, your gas bottle tie downs and your leg winder. If you have any further questions on this caravan, please do give us a call here at the caravan company. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.